average online user now has an attention span of what is it five six seconds very short if you look i mean just look at TikTok videos right like and this is the next generation that's going to be coming up hello everybody welcome to search this week we will talk about managing adwords for e-commerce now john this gets complicated it can be as easy as just loading up a couple of keywords, making sure that you're covering the niche products, mm -hmm. or it could be as advanced as you need to do microdata on the website because you have multiple products with multiple variations, sure. with multiple prices. And then when you submit the feed, Google hates you and they reject <laughs> you. And now you have to install microdata. Mm -hmm. You know, it can be very basic or very technical. Sure. Talk to us about what makes an AdWords management project really efficient and also enables you to get a good ROAS on sure. the money spent. Sure, so really uh, AdWords, you wanna have a full, well-rounded campaign. Uh, you just don't wanna have a just display or just search or just remarketing. You wanna have a, a full suite so that wherever people are looking for you or wherever they are online, uh, you can be found. So uh, a good campaign would have uh, multiple touch points. So whether people are looking for you on search and getting the text ads um, or they're on search and they're getting your product listing ads with the PLAs, uh, or display on a different website. You wanna be in all those different touch points. Um, and we could basically do that through a number of different ways. Uh, talk to us about those ways. Now you said you wanna have multiple touch points, sure. right? Mm -hmm. Talk to us high level why we need those multiple touch points. Sure, because uh, people that are searching aren't just searching in one place. Uh, you could be on CNN or ESPN.com and we can serve you an ad. Um, people are searching directly for you on Google uh, and we can serve them an ad there. Um, no matter where they are, uh, we want to be able to uh, track where they are and serve them an ad based on their particular behaviors. Got it. Got it. So if you haven't seen this already, if you go to Google and type uh, Google messy middle, Google actually did a study on this and they found out that there is an exploration phase when you are looking for a product or looking for a service and trying to make a decision. And then there's a decision making process. And in between, you have anywhere from, I would say, a couple of weeks to months, sometimes years in that decision-making process. So what John is talking about and what we implement at Optimum 7 is we make sure that all these touch points are covered because average online user now has an attention span of, what is it, five, six seconds? Very short. If you look, I mean, just look at TikTok videos, right? Like, and this is the next generation that's going to be coming up. Mm -hmm. So they will be on different platforms at different times. And we want to make sure that your brand or our brand is in front of them when they are ready to make the decision. Now, John, when we implement something like this, and we've talked about a couple of clients that are challenging to us recently, sure. sometimes you do all of this stuff, right? You mm -hmm. cover your angles, you have multiple touch points, you're doing the retargeting, you're doing the display, you're doing the keyword bidding. And sometimes we still can't get the ROAS to be where we need them to be. Mm -hmm. What do you suggest in that kind of a situation? Or what is the solution? Is it the sure. brand? Is it maybe the product, the price? Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, well, in AdWords, it isn't just set it and forget it. So um, there's always optimizations to be done. Uh, there can be landing page optimizations. There could be optimizations to adding keywords and changing the, uh, the match types. There could be adding negatives. Uh, there's a ton of different things to do and different levers to pull uh, to actually get better click-through rates, better conversion rates, um, and, and to get better uh, results from the ads. What do you say to, about the challenge? Obviously, if we are targeting uh, lead generation, if we have just a lead generation form, it's easy to do a landing page, right? Mm -hmm. What happens if um, if I have thousands and thousands of products and I have campaigns for these products and the landing page, the quality score for the landing page, or what is that called? What is the metric that they say? Is it the, uh, ad rank and quality ad, score? Yeah. yeah. If the landing page is not performing because we can't really change that landing page. What do you do in that in that situation? where you cannot really change the landing page for an e-commerce site? Um, well, we can add always keywords to uh, specific landing pages. Um, we can put additional keywords on the pages just so that the keywords that we have uh, in the campaigns match the keywords that are on the landing page and match the keywords in the ads. You always want to have symmetry between them, and that uh, brings up your ad rank and the quality score. So if you have the keywords match uh, the ads and then the landing page, you're gonna have a good quality score. So um, that's basically what I would do. And the, the last question I have, because I'm always curious about this, we look at a lot of different types of metrics and data. Sure, sure. 
Um, if my quality score is eight out of a 10 mm -hmm. for a specific ad group or a yep. specific campaign, and let's say the maximum bid on that keyword is $10, mm -hmm. uh, how does that compare in your opinion if my quality score is four? So instead of paying $10, mm -hmm. how much would I pay if my quality score was bad? Well, uh, all of that basically goes into, there's like an equation for it. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a lower uh, quality score uh, and the same bid of somebody else, they'll rank higher than you on the landing page. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you have every metric the same, uh, you're going to battle and it's going to come down to your bids. But mm -hmm. in this case, uh, if the bids are the same, you're going to be underneath them. So what you would do in this case to uh, beat your competition is you would bid higher. Mm -hmm. So uh, even if you have a low quality score and a low ad rank, you could still rank on Google by just bidding higher. All right, that's it for today. If you have an AdWords account or if you're thinking about advertising on AdWords, we would be happy to review it for you and do an audit completely free of charge. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos on marketing, e-commerce, custom development, and much more. Plus, new episodes of Surge, our weekly e-commerce and digital marketing podcast released every Wednesday.